Sign Zone coming up shortly, starting in the Outer Hebrides with Country Tracks. <laughs> First up, BBC One, here's John Hammond with our late night weather view. Hello there. It's not unusual at this time of year, as winter transfers into spring, that you get cold and warm air in close proximity, and that generates a lot of energy in the atmosphere and a lot of weather, basically. And that's the case at the moment. Uh, a low pressure system zipping in from the west, the tightness of the isopath indicating some very strong winds. So we've got a mixture of rain. Mountain snow for the far north, Orkney and Shetland affected by snow and some very strong winds whistling through the central belt, 65 mile an hour gusts indeed, and they'll persist through much of the next 24 hours. Northeast England badly affected a blowy night nationwide with uh, showers rattling their way west to east. Not on the face of it particularly cold, but of course uh, with the wind it will feel very unpleasant and that strong wind will be in evidence right the way through today. Blustery showers for many of us, mostly falling as rain, but of course where that cold air is in residence across the far north of Scotland, further snow to come. Limited brightness, you'll notice, the best of that probably across the more eastern parts of the country, but nobody immune from a sharp shower or two. So as we go into some detail through the middle part of the afternoon, uh, to the east of the Pennines perhaps arguably you'll see a little bit more in the way of uh, breaks in the clouds, so some sunshine but fleeting. Uh, most places seeing a lot of cloud, more cloud than many saw on Wednesday. A few showers rattling in from the west, they won't last all that long because the wind will move them on quite quickly and there'll be some lengthy dry spells in between. So uh, not a write-off by any means, most places see uh, some reasonable weather from time to time. You can see the extent of the dry weather across Wales in between the showers, for example. Across the Irish Sea, it's that much colder, so some of the showers falling as snow up over the Sperrins, the Antrim Plateau, for example. And that cold air is certainly firmly in residence across the northern half of Scotland. Every chance we'll see some more prolonged heavy snow in places as we go through the day. Looking ahead to Friday, bit of a respite, touch of frost first thing, but then the next low pressure system is zipping in from the west, and once more, as that encounters the cold air across northern Britain, that will turn to a period of snow, and uh, Scotland inevitably is mostly prone to this. Further south, it's mild enough to fall as rain, and that low pressure then getting ensconced across Scotland on Saturday, and we could see some very heavy snow for a time for Scotland as we start the weekend. It's one to keep an eye on, certainly the potential is there for some disruptive snowfall. Uh, it's further south though, mostly again falling as rain, but uh, as you'll see from the leagues as I run north to south across the country that uh, there will be rain in many places as we go through the weekend. There will be some bright spells too, but not to be relied upon. I think unsettled is probably a useful phrase to use for this weekend's weather. In the best of the brightness across southern parts of the UK, temperatures reaching respectability. But again, gusty winds and some rain around won't help the feel of things. Much more detail, of course, about the ongoing developments over the next few days can be found online or alternatively on the red button, page 400. That's it from me. Good night. If a car isn't taxed, is it insured? If a car isn't taxed, does it have an MOT? If a car isn't taxed, is it safe? If your car isn't taxed, the penalty could be more than you bargained for. I don't know what's happened to Donald. I don't know who I'm appealing to. Anyone out there knows where Donald is. Please. Please get in contact. Waking the Dead, Sunday at 9 on BBC One and BBC One HD. A writer. Issue. Christopher Issue. Searching for inspiration. Have you come to Berlin to sample the culture? I wouldn't quite say that. <laughs> you will write about me, won't you, darling? Caught in the eye of a storm. Carpe diem, darling. This whole thing is about to collapse around our ears. Love and life on the brink of war. Christopher and his kind. Saturday, 19th of March on BBC Two. From Cardiff to Guatemala City, a scary thought later. Toughest place to be a paramedic in Sign Zone at 2.40. <laughs> And
And in Sign Zone, now BBC One, time to get away from it all with Helen Skelton and Country Tracks.